Child abuse can be physical, emotional, psychological or sexual in nature, in the home, school or elsewhere in the community. This defines the horror this young girl, Kainde John, suffered at the hands of her grandmother, Victoria John. Kainde and her twin brother, Taiwo, now nine years old, have been living with their grandmother in Oshun State, southwest Nigeria, since the death of their mother. The twins have not had it easy in their grandmother's home. But things got out of hand when Kainde's palms were burnt with hot coal as punishment for allegedly stealing food. In order to punish the little child, she put an hot charcoal on the hand of this little child. After she has already been beaten. Uh, so with the nurse, we are able to find out that uh, the little child need surgery. We were very hungry and there was nothing to eat. My brother and I went inside and we saw food and ate it. When my grandmother came back, she was very angry and she inflicted this injury on in us. The grandmother and her nephew, both arrested by the NSCDC, have confessed to the act and they claim they were trying to teach her a lesson not to steal. I was giving the church offering to keep. I hid it in the house and went out. Both children stole the money. As I came back home, I got very angry and decided to burn their hand. Please forgive me. Just put that charcoal in the hand to test it. The FI that is in heaven is hotter than this one that is on the world. So that they should not... My, my aim and objective of doing that so that we create fear to them so that they will not do that thing again. They also say they received complaints that the twins steal from school, a claim channels sought to clarify from the school authorities. The shocked head teacher took her straight to the school clinic before denying the claims. It's the teacher that are responsible for the purpose. They bought uniform for them. One bought a, a sander, two sanders for the two of them. They have not been taken care of. Even the, the teachers used to buy them food. Every day. I don't know whether they stay in the house, but in the school, they did not take anybody's money or book. A woman and child rights activist, Ayola Olushegun, believes this case can affect her psychologically. The, the girl is already traumatized. There's no doubt about it, and that might go a long way to affect her psychologically in life. She needs to be reorientated, and you know, I think she needs to live away from the grandmom. To live in a place where she will be more, she will be shown love. We are going to transfer the matter to NAPTI for child abuse. And in that case, the NAPTI will do the appropriate thing. Kate John's case has since been handed over to NAPTIP and she is to undergo surgery to regain the use of her hands.